The Red Sox are coming off a win in their previous game. Hi again, everybody. I'm Dwayne Kuyper with Mike Kruko. And again, it looks like a great evening for a ball game. Well, it really does, Kuyper. And I'm anxious to get this one started. And now, here's tonight's starting pitcher, Kurt Schilling. Welcome to an interleague game that features the Florida Marlins and the Boston Red Sox. Now Here's the game's Center first field. batter, Juan, Juan Pierre. Pierre. And a strike to begin this contest. Mercury hovering around 80. That should make the fans very happy. He jacked that one way back and gone. There was no doubt about that. You can see that thing was out of here the second it hit the bat. misses and the count is 1 and 0. And here's the delivery. One ball, one strike. He rung him up on strikes. Next at the plate, Miguel Cabrera. This guy has a great approach to hitting, and that makes him just a pretty special hitter. Misses for a ball. He hits it hard to left field and deep. He's on his way to second. Two base hit. Okay, I've seen this guy make these kinds of plays before. This time, though, a little short. Now batting. A shortstop. More often than not, this guy hits for a mediocre average. Caught by the second baseman. Kipe, his quick reaction allowed him to make the play on that line drive. Nice play. Two eight. Program. Out of play. That one's going to fall in for a hit. He's rounding third. Flips to the pitcher at the bag. He comes through with two outs. These guys are really running the bases well. That aggressiveness showed right there as the runner scored from second on the single. Now batting. Perez Third comes base. to the plate. Antonio Perez. First pitch, pulls it foul. And it gets by him on the diving play. Not in time. He reaches with a single. He lays out nicely for this one, Kite, but it was just outside of his reach. Now, plate. Designated here. This guy is okay against right-handed pitching. Shoot one, infield. Infield, go on one. Everybody up field, go on third. Oh. There's a close pitch called a ball. The guy does not have a real live fastball.
Hit into right field. Out number three, leaving runners on first and third. Heading into the bottom of the first, the Marlins lead by two. for a ball. He hits a line drive the other way. Base hit to lead off the inning. Hit that ball in line. There was no doubt that was a base hit. Next up, Manny Ramirez. Strike one. Pretty simple story on that foul, Kipe. Late swing, foul ball. And on three pitches, he's gone. Three pitches, three strikes. Doesn't get easier than that, partner. Up next, David Ortiz. This guy's dangerous in the batter's box. Matter of fact, he's dangerous in the on-deck circle. Sweet curveball right there, partner. He delivered it right where he wanted to for a called strike. The bat went through the zone. He averaged about 5 Ks per 9 innings. A respectable number. He's on first with a base hit. Right, that was a good piece of hitting. He didn't try to do too much. He just took it the game. Bit high, 1 0. He's lost 53 innings this season, and hitters are having a field day against this guy at a clip of 308. And a strike. He's tallied one win and two losses this season. Kipe looks for them to wave that runner home if it's a ball hit the center. The center fielder does not throw many guys out at home. One and two, here it comes. And he got him. Kipe, that was a nice piece of pitching. The batter never seemed to know what was coming. Ball and no strike. This righty has one great pitch, and he sticks with it to get batters out. Two balls and no strike. Two balls and one strike. Three and one. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. And the walk puts runners on every base. Oh, it's too bad he walks this guy. He just lets him get away. Stepping in, Trot Nixon. Out of the zone, that's a ball. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Chacon delivers a strike with the fastball. He gets the outside corner. Got him with the changeup. After one, Florida leads by two. Now the plate. Next at the plate, Paul Laduca. He's out there on the mound with zero stuff to do. Nobody out. And a strike. And a strike on the inside corner. 
his strongest pitch is the four seamer. Popped him up. He puts it away. He sends it over towards first. Two out. The next batter is Juan Pierre. Here we go. That's two. Slider for a strike. He's pitched 49 innings this season, and batters own this guy with a season average of 381. There's a roller to the left side. He's on with a two-out single. Schilling gets a call strike with the splitter. Partner, this runner is excellent at reading pitches and their deliveries. Now, I wouldn't be shocked if he went here. He fouled it off to the left. Popped up in foul territory, but he has room for a play. He gets struck three swinging. Heading into the bottom of the second, the Marlins lead by only two runs. This team combines hitting, pitching, and good defense, and that's why they sit atop the lead. Leading off the inning will be the seven, eight, and nine hitters. First pitch strike. There's a strike. Terrific pitch there, partner. He put the fastball right where he wanted it for a call strike. On the ground. He flips it to the pitcher covering. Got him for the out. He's out on an easy play. Next up, Mike Lowe. In tight. He throws a four-seamer, a change, and a two-seam fastball. High, two and up. Sometimes you try to make a hitter chase your picks. That's exactly what you saw right there. And a little low. The home plate ump asked for help at first. And he takes the walk. Walks always seem to come around to hurt you. He falls behind the batter and just never gets back into the attack. The count's 1-0. and oh. There's one out and a man on first. Chacon misses again. The count is 2-0. That runner out there is not the fastest guy in the league. If they hit and run right here, there's a good chance they'll stay out of double play on a ground ball. A four-pitch walk. Up next, Johnny Damon. Chacon delivers a fastball out of the zone. The defense would be wise right here to move into double play depth. There's a strike at the knees. He hits the target for a strike. Out of the zone, that's a ball. He won't out of the zone, but the fish weren't biting. Struck him out with the heater. Hey, falls behind. Makes great pitches, however. Comes all the way back and gets the strikeout. Go, man. Go, man. Stepping in, Manny Ramirez. There are two runners on with two outs. Chacon throws a fastball for a call strike. And the side is retired. After two innings, the score is two to nothing. 
Next at the plate, Miguel Cabrera. Miguel Cabrera. He's batting 326 with 16 long balls and 60 runs batted in. And on three pitches, he's gone. Snyder takes his turn at bat. He belts it way back, way back, and gone. Hey, Kite, there are not too many ballparks who would have held that one. This guy can flat out run. He really puts the pressure on the defense when he's flying around the bases. Hit hard to right field for a base hit. Another single. He lined that ball right past the infield, and there was no doubt it was a base hit. Good bit of hitting. There's more than just a few righty hitters who are superior against right-handed pitchers than this guy. This guy could steal a bag of the best one. He could be going on this game. Cued off the end of the bat. He's safe at first. LaCroix strolls to the plate. Kipe, look for them to wave that runner home if it's a ball hit the center. That center fielder does not throw many guys out at home. Swings and misses. It's hit out towards short. The catch is made by the shortstop. The next batter is Paul Laduca. Hit towards the shortstop. He's on his way to the plate. A run scores. That's an RBI single. Hey, Kite, that runner did a great job to score from second base on the base hit. Great heads up throw. This guy isn't very good at all against right-handed pitching. Swing and a miss. A three pitch strikeout. After two and a half, Florida leads by four. Next up, David Ortiz. Called strike. If you're a guess hitter, you hate facing this guy. With five different pitches, this dude creates a lot of guesses. There's a called strike. That is pinpoint control right there. The catcher set a target on the corner, and the pitcher just hammered it for a strike. Got him. The delivery. Painted the inside corner. His number one pitch is his fastball. It's hit out to left. That was 
not an easy catch at all, big boy. Great defense. Dirksen makes his way to the plate. This hitter isn't afraid of right-handed pitching. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. 2-0. Oh. He pulled that fastball just out of the zone. Tough pitch to hit, but the batter didn't off. And a strike on the inside corner. Swing and a high fly ball to left field. There's out number three. After three, the score is four to nothing. Up next, Juan Pierre. Against right-handed pitching, this lefty is lethal. Base hit to lead off the inning. Cut that was a nice single. Good job. Everett comes to the plate. Hey, Kite, as a manager, you hate to see this guy come up. His speed makes him a constant threat. That's a grounder down the left side. He's on first with a base hit. Nothing spectacular there. Just a good old-fashioned base hit to get things going. Stepping in, one for two, Miguel Cabrera. Kaip, look for them to wave that runner home if the ball hit the center. The center fielder does not throw many guys out at home. Taken for a ball. It's a liner the other way. It deflects off the fielder and gets away. And the run comes home. A double and two RBIs. Snyder is next. He hits it over towards second. That's an RBI single. Kind of good job of hitting away from the defense right there. Found a hole. I'll tell you, partner, this pitcher's got to be careful with this guy. He's got great wheels and can turn a single into a double with ease. The bullpen is busy. The manager's going to come out to give them a little bit more room. I like the timing on this visit to the mound. And here comes the hook. They're going to the righty, Bronson Arroyo. He goes the other way. He's around third. That one was misplayed and ruled an error. Okay, there aren't too many guys around here that can turn that double into a triple. Stepping in at a perfect two for two, Antonio Perez. 
Okay, go for it. Hey, LP, let's hit two right here. D! The count's one and two. Kai, all the hitters got to do in this situation is look for a ball up and drive it to the outfield. And he's down on strikes. LaCroix will hit next. In this situation, all the batter should do is try and drive that ball to the outfield. They asked the third base umpire if he swung. Stepping in, one for two, Paul Laduca. That's two. He jacked that one way back and gone. From the second that ball comes off the bat, everybody knew it was out of the yard. That was a shot. Line drive right to the second baseman. He's on with a single. Hey, he was looking for the fastball. He got Center it and he hit it hard. That is a big yeah. league job. There's a strike. Breaking ball is inside. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Two and two. Three and two. He swiped 26 bases. He's off to second. That's crushed. Incredible catch! Going into the bottom of the fourth, the score is 10-0. Stepping in, Trot Nixon. Against righty pitchers, the batter is nothing to write home about. Misses outside. That's a liner back through the middle. He's on with a leadoff single. They asked the third base umpire if he swung. No. Hey, partner, if the pitcher can keep the ball low in the zone, he might be able to induce a ground ball to start two. Taken for a ball. No swing. He went around, Kai, but the umpire he did. Boy, he's having trouble with the strike zone. That's walk number four. Kai, he showed a great eye right there. He was patient, worked the pitcher, and ended up with a free pass. Right now, the defense should be thinking, too. The pitcher can really help out by throwing something low in the strike zone. He strikes out swinging. The pitcher just flat out outclassed him in that at bat. Now batting. First base. This batter is nothing special when he's facing a righty on the mound. Sheets takes 
and it's ball one. Pitch taken for a ball. He's batting 251 with four home runs and 16 runs batted in. He checks his swing. He needs to start throwing more strikes if he wants to be around more than a few batters. Ball four. Oh, it's too bad he walks this guy. He just lets him get away. Next up the play, Johnny Damon. Chased one up for a strike. Kite, there's decent speed sitting out there on third. All the hitter has to do is hit it to medium outfield. They're going to score this run. A ball. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. He goes with the pitch and takes it down the left side. Infield fly, which means the batter's out and the base runners can advance at their own risk. The Marlins have some activity down in their pen. The next batter is Manny Ramirez. There aren't many holes in this righty swing when he's up against right-handed pitching. Pitch taken for a ball. That was a purpose pitch. A changeup off the plate, hoping the batter would go chase it. Down he goes on strikes. Hey, partner, he may not want to think about this game for a while. It hasn't exactly been a shiny moment in his career. This guy can really motor down the line, so the defense needs to field the ball cleanly. The ball deflects away from the pitcher. There's an out. He really doesn't make a very good throw here, but lucky for him, his teammate picks him up and makes a play out of it. Next up, Miguel Cabrera. Here comes the first pitch of the at-bat. Swings and misses. He's got it for the out. Get a nice pitch there to get the fly ball. Nice work. Snyder is up. Off the handle. Arroyo with a 1-2-3 inning. Going into the bottom of the fifth, the Marlins lead by 10. After four and a half, it's been all Marlins. Stepping in, one for two, David Ortiz. Here's the pitch. And it's grounded up the middle. He reaches with a leadoff single. Jackson steps into the batter's box. One on and nobody out. Pitch misses for a ball. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. A ball. He delivers. The pitch is hit up the middle. Sends it to the cutoff man. He's on first with a base hit. Okay, if you can stick a fork in this guy, he is done. They need to go to the bullpen right now and get things back on track. Owen oh one count. He's hitting 242 with no long balls and 16 runs batted in. He reaches first safely. Stepping in, one for two, Trot Nixon. The pitch, 
He's breaking for second. Not in time. That's what happens when you let a base runner take a big lead. That was no contest. Easy bag. High fastball, 0-2. Hit to right field. He's got it. The runners tag up. The runner crosses the plate on the sacrifice fly. He got under it, hit it deep enough to bring the runner home from third. Pitch misses for a ball. And it hooks foul. Chased one up at the letters. Great pitch in the black. Would have been a call strike even if the batter didn't swing through. It's hit out towards short. That's the third out with one runner stranded in scoring position. With four innings remaining, the Marlins lead by a margin of nine. a line drive. He makes the play. The Marlins have activated the bullpen. Up next, Antonio Perez. He delivers. He swiped three bases. Pitch taken for a ball. That was a purpose pitch. A changeup off the plate, hoping the batter would go chasing. The count is even at two. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Deep fly ball to center field. Damon yeah. makes the routine catch. He picked that ball up right off the bat and camped under for an easy out. Change up for a low stride. He's gone. After five and a half, the Marlins lead by nine. Stepping in, Mike Lowe. Low for a ball. Balls, one strike. And that one's foul. He hits it weakly to the second baseman. Incredible play. That is a super effort to make that hit. Stokes this one into left field. 
Cabrera makes the routine catch. Next at the plate, Johnny Damon. There goes the down. Takes low. No swing. Two one pitch. There's a line drive. Chacone retires the side in order. The Marlins lead by nine, and there's three innings left to go. Up next with one single already, Paul Laduca. Out of the zone, that's a ball. Swing and a miss. Line drive up the middle. That'll be ruled an error. Oh, partner, the fielder took a sloppy approach to the ball, and as a result, he just plain missed the ball. Hey, middle, let's stay tight. Now batting. The catcher. Hey, let's turn there. Oh, we got the two pitch. three on this. Hit to center field. Damon makes the routine catch. Stepping in, three for four, Juan Pierre. Fly ball, get the other way to left. Puts it away for the out. Kai, he didn't get all that ball. The fielder strolled over, got under it, made an easy play. Hey, this guy at the play can flat out fly. You better go right after him because you don't want to put him on for free. And the pitch. Everett sends it to first. And he's out. All right, everybody. Up on their feet. Time for the seventh inning stretch. Yeah, I could use a bit of a break. Ramirez up next. Popped up in foul territory, but he has room for a play. Perez makes the play in foul ground. Okay, this dude did not bring his A game in, but hey, in fairness, you can't be on all the time. Grab by the first baseman. Hey, that's a great play on a very tough line drive. That's one of the toughest balls a baseball judge. One and oh. The batter got the benefit of the doubt. And here's the delivery. Swing and a miss. Pitch said, come and get a big boy, but the batter could not touch that curveball. They checked down at first. Yes, he did. The bat went through the zone. Fouled off the catcher. He just keeps fouling him off. Two two count. Look like the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. So far, the batters are taking these pitches. It's hit back up the middle. That's another base hit. I think this guy's just about at the end of his rope. It's going to be time for a move to the Pitch taken for a ball. Look like the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. So far, the batters are taking these pitches. Fastball for a strike. Fastball paints the inside corner at the knees. Two and two, the count. Pitcher looks a little annoyed with that call, Kai. He sure thought the batter went around, and I agree. Dirksen hits the ball to right field. Kite, that's not an easy play to make at all. He really flashed the leather there. So they got one base hit, but couldn't do anything with it. The next batter is Miguel Cabrera.
He fouled it off to the left. Sponsored by EA Sports. Three pitches, three strikes. Hey, sometimes you make a good pitch, and that was one of them. Big strike out there for you. Here's the pitch. There's a strike and a changeup. No balls in one strike. Here it comes. Lifts one to right. Nixon makes the catch for the out. The Marlins have some pitchers up in the bullpen. Here's a guy who's been known to struggle at times against right-handed pitching. Changeup misses low. Liner right at the second baseman. That'll do it for the Marlins in the eighth inning. After seven and a half, the score is 10 to one. He's done for the day. They're calling for a reliever. Next up, Trot Nixon. Here's the pitch. Takes a pitch just off the plate, one and oh. Sometimes you try to make a hit or chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Lifts one to left. Cabrera should have no problem. The catch is made. at second. He's aboard with a one-out double. No doubt that ball was headed for extra base the second he hit it. Solid A-B. Lowell digs in at the play. This right-handed hitter is slightly above average against right-handed pitching. That runner on second is going to be going on anything hit on the ground to the right side. In that situation, the fielders need to get the sure out at first. He's batting 256 with eight home runs and 42 runs batted in. That's fouled off the catcher. One and two. It's hit out to center. Pierre makes the routine catch. Made a nice pitch there to get the fly ball. Nice work. They'll use a pinch hitter. Brown ball hit the other way to the right side. Out number three, side retired. After eight, Florida leads by nine. Up next, Antonio Perez. A substitution. There goes the lumber on the ball hit to the right side. Got him. This guy gets right in there and breaks up his bat. I mean, he loves to break wood. Hey, 
LaCroix hits this one to first. Two outs. At bat with three runs batted in already, Paul LaDuca. The manager is going to buy his bullpen some time with this mound visit. I don't know, Kaif. I think he may be thinking on the mound too much after that visit. Here's the pitch. Pitch misses. The count is two and two. Look like the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. So far, the batters are taking these pitches. A liner. He bobbled it. That'll be ruled another error. Tell you what, they gotta cut that ball off and keep the base runner at first. That's inexcusable. Now batting. The catcher. Where's the one, Infield? Hey boys, get it home, outfield. Popped up in foul territory, but he has room for a play. Going into the bottom of the ninth, the score is 10 to 1. Stepping in one for four, Johnny Damon. Taken for a ball. Just out of the fielder's reach. That's another base hit. Stepping in, Manny Ramirez. Side outs the pitch to the right side. He reaches with a single. The key to that play was the runner moving into scoring position. Next at the plate, David Ortiz. One and zero, the count. Hey, partner, this is an ideal double play situation. If the pitcher can get a ground ball, this guy runs like he has a piano strapped to his back. Two ball, one strike count. The delivery. Three and one. And here's the pitch. The count runs full. And the pitch. He sends it over towards first. They make the play. That pitcher really needed that defensive play behind him. He got the double play. Jackson is next up. There's a swing and a miss. He went around too soon. Cut on and miss. Missed the way with the sinker. It's a good hard sinker right there. Trying to make a batter fish for one. That one splits the outfielder. And the run scores. He delivers with two outs. That looks like a base hit from the second he left the bat. Now, the 
of delivery. Dirksen takes one inside. Slow roller to the left side. Got him. Barely. The final score, the Marlins 10, Boston 2.